up, everybody? It's your boy Crazy Al Kane, SugarCane.com. We're here at the Urban Action Showcase, and we have straight legendary status right here. You see the pictures, you know the products, you know the face. You see all of this, right? Do you understand what's going on right now? This is some legendary stuff. This is the first annual um, Urban Showcase, Urban Action Showcase, and we have the legendary. Fred Williamson representing right here. This is crazy, crazy. Hey, gotta be somewhere, dog. Gotta be somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So tell us really quick, um, just what, what what brought you here and 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 um, you know, why you decided to come to do this event? Well, it's a very simple reason for me, man. And it's quick and simple. I just wanted people to see how good I look. That's all. Nice, nice. Yeah, for no other reason. I just finished three films and I'm uh, putting together. Now the sequel to uh, Original Gangsters, the three films I did, I did one in uh, Berlin, Germany called Atomic Eden, big action film. I did one in Montreal, Canada called Billy Trigger, another action film, and one in Phoenix, Arizona called 357. And as I said, I'm uh, putting together a sequel to Original Gangsters. Yeah, the difference now between back in the day is... <laughs> Dude, I mean, it's indescribable. I can't answer that in one, you know, like we won all the fights, you know, uh, when the smoke cleared, all the brothers were standing. Now it's questionable who's gonna be standing. We don't have that strong uh, leading men image that Jim Brown and I were trying to portray because we needed heroes back in the day. As we, we became heroes because we needed them. We had had enough stepping fletchings and, and, and funny guys, so we had to show that there would be some tough guys, that we can also be funny and we can also kick butt. So Jim and I brought that element uh, to the screen. So today, it's all questionable. You know, everybody wants to be an Academy Award actor. They don't have a purpose. Jim and I had a purpose. And I specifically had a purpose to create a solid action hero image to, to uh, satisfy the needs of, of the black audiences that didn't have it before. I think everybody needs a job. You just have to be more specific about the jobs you take. Uh, to me, image is everything. You can't buy me, my image is not for sale. Uh, no matter how much money you pay me, you can't kill me in a movie, and I'm not gonna lose my fights in a movie. So to me, it's about integrity. I know what I stand for, I know what my audiences like to see me do, and I don't disappoint. And that's important. I think the kids today all think about Academy Awards, about the money, can't buy me. Integrity wise, I'm not for sale. Well, if, if you consider, I mean, if, if you go down the list and start naming them one by one, certainly there's a lot of terrible films being made depicting blacks and the kind of roles that they take, but it's about choices. They don't have to take these roles. They don't have to do that. It's all about who they are, what they think they represent, and it's about the money. So it's not about what Hollywood is perpetuating. It's about the guy within himself. Do I want to do this? Do I want to have this image? Uh, do I look good in a wig and lipstick? I mean, <laughs> you have, to, you alone make those choices. It ain't Hollywood's choice, dude. It's Nobody's about you. Yeah, no doubt. Right. It's about cash, man. You want, to, you want cash money and they bribe you? And you want to do that? And try to explain that away to your friends and your family and your kids why you put on the lipstick and the wig? Hey, that's okay. If you can do that, fine, but I can't. You can't find me. No, I don't want to be found. You can't find me. I got no website. I got no Twitter. I got no twink. I got no nothing, dude. I'm, you can't find the hammer. Yeah. Keep moving. Somewhere in the world, either in Rome, Italy, or in Barcelona, or in Paris, that's where I be. Because they brought me here and asked me to come. And as I said, I want you to see how good I look at 75. 75. Yeah. If you're seeing this and if you're watching this, you're looking at Fred the Hammer Williamson at sugarcane.com. You got that? Sugarcane.com. Be careful. You hurt your finger if you go it too fast. Just watch slow. Sugarcane.com. Check out my new films coming out. Uh, Billy Trigger, Atomic Eden, 357. Coming at you strong. <laughs>